The plenary session of B20 Conference on Opportunities for Multilateral Business Partnership in Agriculture, Food Processing, Tourism and Information Technology was held at the State Banquet Hall Kohima on 5th of April with representatives from different countries, business communities, stakeholders taking part in the discussion. Financial Advisor, North Eastern Council, Gai Kon Ding, Panme. Pame, while addressing the gathering, said inter-ministerial team was formed to improve foreign trade with northeastern region and highlighted new industrial policy for northeast region. Agriculture Production Commissioner R. Pinchilo Thong spoke on agriculture business potential in Nagaland, especially specifically mentioning turmeric, papaya, naga king chili, packaging materials, planting materials, small and customized machinery. Executive Director Godrich. Agrovet Limited, Burgess Codridge, Chairman, Icha Hahaba, T Growers Cooperative, Society Limited, Dr. Autoshi were also among speakers at the conference. So the C in CREATE stands for Consumer Products and Chemicals Business, the R is for our real estate business, the RE. The A is for our agribusiness, those are four main businesses in Godridge Industries, and the T is for transformation. How can we grow these businesses to their full potential? And the E is for emergence. So how can we incubate and create new business ideas? So while our consumer products business has been in the Northeast for an extremely long time, our agribusiness is just now making its foray into the Northeast. In our agribusiness, we have more than 50 plus manufacturing units across the different businesses. We're present in animal feed, aqua feed, crop protection, milk, value-added products, poultry and processed food, as well as palm oil. So in the Northeast, we have presence in animal feed, poultry and processed food, and palm oil. We currently have our facility for crude oil palm milling in Mizoram, and we're looking to expand to other Northeast states. Totally across India, AgroVet touches 21,200 farmers, and we have distributors and dealer strength of more than 900. So we definitely want to bring these advantages these benefits that we've given to farmers across the country to the northeast. We have very strong presence as you can see in the map in the west and in the south. So how can we improve our presence in north, east and northeast? So that's what I'll be talking about today. It's a torture. <laughs> However, uh, just to compensate with the shortage of time, uh, allow me to skip the salutations and uh, go down straight to share some random bullet points. I hope that the B2B uh, sessions would be very productively utilized by all of us and I'll just uh, give an overview of how we industry uh, perceive the scenes and the opportunities that are prevailing in the state. <coughs> Way back in 1965, this great nation embarked upon a massive revolution, the Green Revolution. This was aimed at uh, increasing the agricultural production and also enhancing the productivity per, per capita productivity. It continued for decades. And as a toddler and as a young boy, I saw truckloads of fertilizers, chemicals, pesticides being transported to the remotest of villages and being stored in the agricultural gudangs. Is our commitment to sustainability and working together with the communities and other stakeholders. So we go ahead with the thought Embracing the planet, embracing the future. So, I represent TQ Search Services Private Limited, which is a wholly owned subsidiary of the Tata Projects Limited. So, the Tata Projects Limited, as we all know, is involved in various businesses, especially um, in developing the infrastructure in the country, inspecting and uh, offering the advisory services for the development. As far as our TQ search services and TQS services are concerned, in this we are offering the certification services especially to 
impart confidence and trust in the products as well as so they are members of the government of Nagaland they are friends, my colleagues from the diplomatic corps I will try to be brief to be limited to the, the time given to me so it's a, a real pleasure to be here in this uh, B20 business meeting in almost 24 hours in this beautiful land of Nagaland we have discovered the culture, the tradition of the people we have learned about the work that the government is doing and we have been witnesses of the beauty of this landscape for us it's a real learning and I deeply appreciate this opportunity as well as I deeply appreciate all the hospitality given to us by the, the government, the people of Nagaland, particularly by the Chief Minister. This cultural diversity and the vitality of Nagaland reaffirm for me the concept we have in Cuba that homeland is humanity, which we can say in India like Busaideva Kutumbakan. Cuba is a Latin American country, is the largest island in the Caribbean, very far from here, more than 15,000 kilometers, but this has never been an impediment for Cuba and India to be very close to develop a long-standing relationship based on the feeling of friendship, the cooperation, dialogue, and also the, the admiration. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank the government of Nagaland for the invitation to visit this beautiful state and the B20 and the CII for the initiative and organization of, uh, of the whole trip and for attending the conference here in Kohima. It is certainly exciting for me to visit this northeastern part of India, so different from other parts of the country I have visited and certainly different well, my country, Iceland, my country is surrounded by the ocean with a beautiful but harsh nature which can be brutal sometimes but Nagaland is, as we know, all beauty and everything grows here. In spite of the huge uh, difference in size and population, Iceland and India, Iceland and Nagaland have many things in common. As one of poets put it, the heartbeat of the people is the same all over the world and this applies to all of us. I'd like to highlight a few matters that we have in common and firstly the global cooperation on sustainability and creating a sustainable future for all according to the sustainable development goals. We have uh, directed our efforts to protect the natural resources of the ocean uh, fish stocks and promote the utilization of renewable energy, sustainable energy, especially geothermal energy, which is also in abundance in India, especially here in the north, northern part of the country. We welcome the emphasis of the Indian and the Nagaland governments on sustainability that aims to promote green energy and better quality of life for future generations. Secondly, I would like to mention tourism. And one only has to look around to see the great potential for a...